Hi, it's Rob Shapiro from Technique Peak. Today we're going to look at a subtalar joint, more of the posterior joint for more of a rotation component. We know the more the anterior joints, more inversion, eversion. We think the posterior joint has more of a rotation part of the talus for the subtalar joint. If we grab onto here, we could test it. So what we're going to do is take the subtalar, the calcaneus, and then I can go, my hand would be here, but get out of the way. You can go, you could do this rotation back and forth. He does really well that way. This way, we can't even quite get to neutral. You'll see that's zero. This one's pretty good. This one's not as good. So perfect, thank you, Antonio. <laughs> so what can we do for that? So treatment-wise, the best treatment we find is do a little bit, you add dorsiflexion. With that, we give him traction, okay? And we just hold that position. We can do a little bit of oscillations, but really it's a little bit of dorsiflexion, a little bit of traction with this hand, traction with this hand, and then we could just do some oscillations as well, and we could hold it for time. So we're just doing distracting the joint. Does a really nice job of, of getting back the rotation component. So hold that for a little bit more. You good, Antonio? Mm -hmm. I'm going to sing you a song or something. <laughs> okay. So I'm tractioning here, a little bit of traction with the bottom hand and dorsiflexing. Give me about another five seconds or so. And we're going to relax it. And let's see how we did. We can take that same joint, and now we could do a rotation. You'll see he has more. That way was good. This one, we will see how he has more of the rotation going to that direction. Okay? And that's the key. And that, that's a really nice way. So what we did, again, is we did a little bit. We held here. Gave a little bit of dorsiflexion, a little bit of distraction. Distraction going with my right arm and holding it. Really nice way to get the subtalar joint, the rotation component. And we know the rotation component is huge up the body. If you can't rotate through here, it's harder to get rotation throughout the rest of the system through gait. It's Rob Shapiro from Technique Peak.